Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you prepared? What if I want to draft a green black? I think this Eternal Witness and Assassin's Trophy comes back. What about Abzan? Abzan is sweet too. Thank you. Unseen Spectre, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. What up, Kamikaze Caddy? I. I think Eternal Witness is like the best card in this pack. Yeah, I'm gonna take Eternal Witness here. Eternal Witness. And then we'll see what happens. Watery Grave lets us be the Salt High deck we've always wanted. Ancestral Vision is so great. Josh with the resub and Dragosi MTG. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I also like Karanos. I want to be Teamer and take this Karanos. That sounds like fun. And then they're going to show us a Creeping Tar Pit and they're going to be like, Sorry, dummy. You chose poorly. Could take Verdant Catacombs, but I think it's actually just Chromatic Lantern here. Chromatic Lantern makes it pretty easy to cast anything, I think. I think. Is this a stipulation or just poor selection? Wow. 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 I've been looking for a long time. When do you think that you stopped playing as much standard? Like around tier... Um, no, it was definitely before that. I don't think I've ever played a ton of standard. I actually talk about this in my article on Cool Stuff this past week. Where, like, I mentioned that, like, how the first two months of any standard format is, like, pretty exciting. Um, and then after that it kind of gets, like... Kind of boring or pretty quickly. <coughs> I could just take roast or fight with fire. Fight with fire could be good if we're ramping. Let's take fight with fire. I've just never been a big standard fan because I feel like it gets stale too quickly, and it's it's solved too quickly. Oh, Renin six. We're finally in Renin six colors. That seems nice, especially if we can get some fetch lands here. Yeah, we're definitely taking Renin six here. And then we're going to take all the fetch lands we can muster. Mustard? All the fetch lands we can mustard. Glorybringer. I'm a big fan of Glorybringer. I also like Fertile Ground. It's pretty solid fixing. Glorybringer is always good. I'm like, I'm never, never disappointed to have Glorybringer. Temple Garden could be good if we get a fetch land. Garrick is just solid. Yeah, I'm just going to take Garrick here. Wandering Fumeral? Okay. Okay. I'm game. Hey, Saru, what's going on, my dude? P. 
Yeah, and Karen Millar. All right, these picks are actually pretty good. I'm okay with this. First time picks are all cards that always wheel. Um, Chromatic Lantern never wheels. I don't think Eternal Witness wheels. I also don't think Karen wheels. I don't think that's true at all. I think Fight with Fire was one of the, the few cards that would wheel. In my experience, people have a, a high respect for this in this cube. Oh, actually, maybe this was the maybe I'm thinking of the Grixis cube. Karanos might have wheeled. I don't. I don't. I rarely. I rarely see Eternal Witness or Chromatic Lantern wheeling though. Do, 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 do. We have a Crutch Junior Stip too to do uh to do some mono red. M -m -m mono red. I'm just gonna think Magma Jet here. Karanos is always so good, which is why I picked it. I'm just like this is this card's very very good. It's so hard to deal with. It's consistent advantage. You're rarely ever making it a creature and attacking with it, but that's not that's not really relevant. Oh, the roast came back? I was going to take roast. How nice. Roast being five damage instead of four is great. I kind of want to take this Tristani, and also I just don't want to have Gutshot in my life. I think if we can splash this off a of white or just Chromatic Lantern, it's pretty good. Nice. Solid ice, solid ice chew region reference there. Also, Lightning Elix if we're splashing white. I don't think people ever focus on the can't make it a creature part of Karanos. I just don't think anyone cares about that. I don't think anyone Karanos is about that. Uh, I'm going to take Flood... The problem with Flood Trinance and either of our colors. It's blue, right? So, like, if we get a Steam Vents or a Breeding Pool, it's pretty good. Which is actually good enough. I think also if we're trying to splash the white. Like, maybe the Sacred Foundry comes back and that'd be sweet. Because then we can get a red source with our Flooded Strand. Uh, Primeval Titan? Yeah, that's a solid 6 drop. I think we're just taking Primeval Titan here. Also, if Golos wheels, we're looking like we could be a fine Golos deck with Chromatic Lantern. Polluted Delta? Okay, we're doing it. Two blue fetch lands. Oracle of Moldiah is fantastic. But we have Ren and Six, so I really want Polluted Delta, and I also want lands to pick up with Polluted Delta, Bird of Paradise. Is it better than Huntmaster? Probably. Will Huntmaster table? Or if Huntmaster or Reclamation Sage come back, I'll be really grateful. But I'm going to take this bird here for now. Uh, could literally just be Mana Confluence. I don't think we're two thing and nailing. I do like Thorn Lieutenant a lot. I think it's pretty good. I think our land is fine for now. I just think it's a solid green two drop is it bad that last year I don't think anyone caring us is about that no I don't think so I think that was the intent um wreck won't hunt master well I guess we'll see I guess we will see you want to put some money on it Ooh, Rattleclaw Mystic and a Simic Signet? I think we're Rattleclaw Mysticing. Oh, it's Undrum Tuna's birthday. Happy birthday, Undrum Tuna. Undrum Tuna birthday stream. Pew, pew, pew. You know those noises, like the... You know the noises. If I'm wrong, I'll donate. All right, all right, that's interesting. That's interesting. All right, Huntmaster's not tabling Reclamation Sage. Oh, no, the other way around, right? I think it's Rattleclaw. It's just a creature and it's better fixing. Uh, Orzhov Signet. That's a yikes for me, dog. Murderous Redcap is kind of meh. <laughs> oh, 
Kaylin, you have to stop. You have to stop. I want to take the Knight of Autumn because we're still on the white plan. Like it's either that or Murderous Red Cap, and I just don't—I just don't give a shit about Murderous Red Cap. Xenagos is nice. We're basically red green, and we're splashing blue currently, and maybe white currently. And I'm really hoping that Sacred Foundry comes back. Sacred Count, Sacred Foundry, thumbs Zach. That's what—that's what it sounds like when I have a stroke. Sacred Foundry came back. We can get that with our Flood Strandos. Nice. We're having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. Sun Petal Grove. God, they're just making it real easy for us to, to play these white cards. Collected company, what do we got? Thorn, Rattle, Bird, Eternal Wood. It's just, I feel like this is never good. I don't know why this is in the cube. Like, the the, the number of decks that are going to be green and also have... Oh, wow, Huntmaster came back. Reclamation Sage didn't. Dang! Get a lot of... Get a load of... Get a load of my Swift Sphere burns. Dang. I don't know what it is. I'll just take this guy. Ferocidon, sure. Put this Abbot of Carol Keep over here. So now we have Flood Strand, Sacred Foundry, and Sun Petal Grove. On around, on around. <laughs> If you like Ren and Six, you, you can't wait to see what happens next. We got here. Let's see. Bloodstain Mire. It could just be bribery, guys. It is always just bribery, though. In this queue, I do feel like it's less frequently bribery, but I still think it's bribery. We're gonna bribery. It's double blue. It's our first double blue spell, but. I bet we'll be okay. I think we can make it through this. Look at these three planeswalkers. Thank Microsoft for randomly giving me the same when I was told. That's insane. I love Cryptic Command, but Triple Blue is a little tough. I'm going to take this Tireless Tracker, especially with Fetch Lands and Renin 6, and really hoping we can get something to fetch out with these guys. And we have Sacred Foundry, but like otherwise we're just getting Islands, and that's pretty rough. Lumbering Falls is a bitch-ass land. No, just kidding. Lumbering Falls would have been fine. I bet it comes back. Better back the hell up with that comment. Really? Oh, we're getting real defensive over Lumbering Falls here. Raging Ravine. See, that seems good. I also like Noble Hierarch, but... Oh, God, we need, we need playables, too. 
I mean, we could just play these white cards. I'm just taking the Raging Ravine. Maybe Stomping Ground or Breeding Pool or Steam Vents. My falls aren't, aren't lumbering. I'm big boned. Windswept Heath. Windswept Heath. Do, 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 do. That's on color, sure. Three fetch lands is nice. We got a run in six. We're building. We're also at a point where if we had one planes, we can easily play both of these. Actually, all three of these. And now we're now we're looking real good. With this four color monstrosity. This deck actually looks sweet though. I mean we do have Chromatic Lantern, we have Rattleclaw Mystic. Birds of Paradise. Undrum Tuna, how's your birthday going so far? I hope it's wonderful. Can we change the title of the Undrum Tuna birthday stream? Wow. Okay, deal. Done. Undreamt tuna birthday stream. Sahili, right? What if the what if the cat comes back? I'm gonna take Sahili just in case the cat comes back. The cat came back the very next day. I think we're just taking stirring wildwood here. Went to a beer fest. Are you are you drunk right now? Sarkon, Blinky Boy, Thundermaw Heli Boy, Llanowar Elves, Voice of Resurgence. We can almost cut the blue, but we have no reason to, really. People in chat's gonna be like, cut the blue, and be like, Nobby. If I was there, I'd make you spaghetti tacos for your birthday. Wow. Stomping ground. Yes. Excellent. Tristani and bribery is kind of a nombo. Let's keep that in mind. What if it was a spaghetti taco with a with a garlic bread taco shell? That sounds legit, right? Garlic bread taco shell. Is it just Lesnia signal here? I think it might be. It might be. I got dismissive pyromancer. Oh shit, infinite combo, boy! Well, there you go, we did it. Nailed it. We could take bribery out. I eat that taco so hard. Buddy, you joke, but garlic bread cologne sounds legit. Overgrown tomb, huh? It lets us get a green source with our polluted delta. I don't think that's terrible. A oh, Johnny also seems pretty good. I almost like it better than P and Karen Alar. Fallen Shinobi. God, do I just play Fallen Shinobi and just get greedy AF? Wow. Oh my god, people asking to cut the blue is just so insane to me. Like, they just, like, it's so weird, because, like, you don't need to. It's just not a thing. Like, we have, oh god, I have to go over this all the time. Like, we have seven sources of blue without even adding an island, and, like, we have an infinite combo. Like, there's no reason to cut the blue. It's just crazy. Cut the Tristani. Oh, 
We have Sahelian Felidar? Come on. Just come on. Like, we could pee and add a Johnny and then add Sarkon as well. I'm real tempted to play this guy off of Drowned Catacomb. How many ways do we have to get this guy? We have this, this, this. We have at least four blue sources, or four black sources. So we have Bird of Paradise to, to attack in with. P and Karen Alarm makes pretty sweet attackers for this. Oh yeah, and Lantern, jeez. And Bird of Paradise, jeez. It's real tempting. How many planeswalkers do we have? Good lord, it's got to be a good amount, right? Yeah, it's only four. We only have four planeswalkers. I mean, this would be five, six, and we can also. I mean. I think this is good. I think we cut one more thing. Because of course we do. God, I was tempted to cut P and Karen Alar for a Johnny, but now that we have Fallen Shinobi, I think we're just keeping it. <clears throat> it might just be 41, guys. Five color green, boys. Alright, hold on. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, the black and the blue are super light. Okay. Hokey dokey. Let's add all of these. This and this and this and this and this and this. Okay, so we're going to add one of these and one of these automatically, just for the funsy of it. Probably one of these. We have 11 lands, 13, 40, 50, 60, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 16, so... Um, how many green sources do we have? Flooded Strand can get a green. It cannot. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's stick with eight for now because we might actually need more red because red is also our, our second most represented color with 13. Uh, Windswept Heath can get Sacred Foundry. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sources of red so seven and eight blue we have one two three four five I might just add a second blue but we only have bribery and Sahili white we have a lot of I think one One, blue belts can't get anything right. Two, three, four, five, six. I, mean, I almost want the second green just for this, but second blue is awkward to draw. Is the problem? I actually agree with you about the bribery. To be honest. I think if they have some kind of nonsense, like there's a lot of decks where you're just not going to find anything good. And if it's a deck where they have a bunch of nonsense, that's fine, but. Oh, we can get the Overgrown Tomb? Yes, keep this Overgrown Tomb. Turn two, run and six, get a land back. Yes, yes, yes. That's great. Overgrown tomb, found a play attempt, gonna blow your mind, and then use a red and six, yeah. I'm thinking you, no, no, in it. Incredible. 
that's incredible. Guess we'll pass. Two four drops in hand. Can't cast either. You got it. This is what I dislike. Like magic, magic. It's so like the biggest changes in in games. Biggest changes in games. Are, like they occur from like the smallest details, right? Like this game would be significantly different if they just didn't have spell pierce in hand, if they weren't playing spell pierce in their main deck, right? And um, this this game would be so much different if instead of this we drew a land, right? Because we can play Garrick, make a guy, or we can keep Lightning Helix up, or you know we could have played P and Kieran Alar, but now like they get to have three mana up for our fourth play, and we might just be locked out of the game. Okay, well. Now they gave us a chance, so. Da, 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 da. I definitely don't agree with you. I don't think I don't think the the randomness is what makes magic great. I think winning despite randomness makes it great, but I don't think there's not situations where I'm like, oh man, this was so random and I really love that about the game. This can only get an island aura. I'm tempted just to turn a witness to get back Ren and Six, but then we don't get to Like, I'm actually just tempted to kill this now, but... Because, like, Garrick either dies or trades, so I'm not going to play Garrick. Filler Guardian doesn't do anything. Hot Huntress, was it you who got this song stuck in my head? Because that's unbelievable, dude. Oh, wow. Uh, Renan. Well, I guess that's actually pretty good, all things considered, but they're probably just going to counter it, so. <laughs> of course, because of course you are. Because why not? I don't think games being decided on variance is fun. That's just the bottom line. Like, oh wow. Like I'm well aware of the design philosophy uh, of Mark Rosewater that says variance allows even the most unskilled player to win a game against their professional or you know someone of a higher skill level. Like I, I think that's great. I think it's a really appealing part of Magic. But you know, like I think variance after variance after variance, like being on being on the at the mercy of like five different uh, instances of you know, bad luck, let's call it, or, like, bad beats, or whatever you want to call it. Like, I think that's... I think that can actually become a little demoralizing.
So long, lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So only six lands left in our deck. Yep. Just don't actually care anymore. Let's bring you in. Could bring in Sorcerer Spyglass. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's going to be one of those days, I guess. Seems good. Seems good. And again, just to be clear, this isn't a matter of colored mana. Like, we could play uh, lots of things if we hit another land, but we'll see. Seems good. <laughs> just fantastic. I mean, we could Windswept Heath into... We can turn one into Windswept Heath, get a Sacred Foundry here, and then we have almost all the colors that we need. Sure. Let's try this, I guess. Let's get an island... Play around four spike. I mean, we're not playing around spell here, so I'm sure they're just gonna fucking obviously. <laughs> oh lord! Never don't have it. So we're not going to hit a land here, just to be clear. And then we are going to get uh, mana tithe here. I just want to just want to make it clear for everybody that that's what's happening. Oh, we did hit a land. Wow, look at us go. Oh, they're just going to fit that and click us. Sure. Well, that changes everything. Yep, so long, Karenos. To the surprise of no one.
Alright, that seems fine. Pretty terrible turn, but... I just don't think Teferi's a fun card. It's just a miserable card. And I think I'm not alone in that, so... Well, we get to shuffle our Teferi back in, so that's pretty cool. Or our uh, Karanos, rather, not our Teferi. I don't know why I said Teferi there. Sacred Foundry, for sure. Hmm. That seems just fine. <sighs> like, if we were consistently here on lands, it would be great because we could have potential to draw our eighth land next turn, which means we can play Garrick, kill this blocker, and then also have Fallen Shinobi Man up. But, yeah, it doesn't matter now. We could also have another green land in play, but... What can we get? Can we get Windswift Heat and get a forest? And then just play Garrick and kill something? Just trade with Vendillion Click, I guess. This seems good. I mean, if they don't monetize it, which they're probably just going to do, because sure <laughs> that's, of course that's your last card why wouldn't it be it makes no sense that that wouldn't be your last card Top deck mode. That's fine. Sahili. Oh, no Sahili. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Activate. We have one, two left over. If we Primeval Titan, they're just going to bounce it. So that's worth thinking about. We could play Garrick and kill this, and they still attack for three. Jeez. The fact that they have Teferi on board is pretty stupid. Uh, we definitely don't block two or three. If we play this and kill the, the click, we can block one if they don't bounce it. So we block none. Uh, if we play Primeval Titan, they bounce Primeval Titan attack with everybody we block here. We take four. But we have two more lands in play, which could be relevant. Six, seven, eight. We have ten mana total. Uh, I think we're just... I think this is correct. I think we just have to try and draw... Sahili. And this thins our deck 
the most. Uh, Stirring Wildwood is actually a good draw here too. All right, so we'll get Stirring Wildwood and get some Petal Grove. Yep, that's exactly what we thought they'd do. Block here, go to two, like we said. Not what I'm looking for. Go black, blue, one, two, turn you. <laughs> terrible, absolutely terrible hits. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven. Play Garrick, kill this. One, two, three, four. We have one blocker. We block here, kill this, we take two. Yep, that's game. All right. <laughs> that would have been good. Oh, that would have been great. Yep, that would have been good too. All right. Well. <sighs> Good times. But it was not good times, it was bad times. Uh, no, we didn't have enough mana to play Garrick and Felidar Guardian. We had four mana in the pool, we had five, six, seven. We would have to use Felidar Guardian to blink a land to have the four mana to play Garrick. So we either blink a land and play Garrick, or we blink something on board and have three mail left over, so no. And that's after playing one of the opponent's mana for free. Yeah, I'll keep this. This hand seems good. This crazy mana base. Ready for the turn two Steel Leaf Champion? I'm ready. Okay, we did it. We dodged a Steel Leaf Gentleman. Oh, I'm probably gonna play that now. I want the red for Karanos. And like this can come into play untapped anytime and this makes this come into play untapped anytime. Next time we can just go Overgrown Tomb, or we can just play Planes. Yep, okay. Well. So one, two, three, let's play Knight of Autumn, and we'll just make it a 4-3. Next time we can play Tracker with Overgrown Tomb, and then we can play Drowned Catacomb into Karanos, which seems good. Seems good, he says. Yep. Didn't see that coming. I always I thought my creature was going to survive. And then it didn't, and I was like, what? That's crazy. Get out of town. Do, 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 do.
Oh yeah, not blocking. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Hmm. Fertile ground, eh? This probably this probably seems unbeatable, but I'm no expert. I'm I'm far from an expert. Then we get the Primeval Titan next turn. All right, well, I feel like we took control of this game. Like, I feel like if, in the modern cube, if you miss a turn and don't play, like, a big, fat, unbeatable idiot, like, you just lose. Koth. Interesting. I guess we'll take six. Oh, well, we're 100% blocking Huntmaster. Yeah, deal. So we could play Xenagos. Frank loves Gutshot. What's going on, dude? And then attack. And then they either trade Koth or Noble. But then we have no blockers. So they could just block here and then attack us back for like six. That seems bad. Also, leaving us open to death if they have an answer for Xenagos seems bad too. But we don't really have another option. We can't play Pion Karen Alar. I feel like our Guardian doesn't... I think we literally just have to Primeval Titan here. Hope the red green deck doesn't have an answer to a primeval titan. Let's get Raging Ravine. And I don't want to take any damage. Stomping Ground. No. Alright. Survive this turn. We're okay. Zealous Conscripts kill us. When I felt like we were doing very, very well this game. One, they have two cards. Two cards. Dear God. That's insane. <laughs> oh, absolutely incredible. Absolutely fucking incredible. Just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Should we have just killed the wolf with the with the Xenagos, I guess? Cause then we go to one. We still take four and one from Lanwar Elf. <laughs> Jesus. Absolutely incredible. I think we're gonna mulligan this hand because we can't do anything this is like the almost exact same fucking hand that's incredible that's amazing it's i'm just like this is, i'm just i'm just actually baffled right now can anyone tell me which cards even changed in this hand <laughs> i don't think any of them did i think the a sun petal grove turned into a stirring wildwood but it's totally random guys Co totally random I guess we'll keep it. Uh, glory bringer, I guess. I think it's just embarrassing losing to the to the Koth deck when they have literal one mountain in play. It's just like, well, that's a thing, I guess.
Yeah, but Fumeral still doesn't kill Koth. Koth is at 5. Right? Or was he at 4? Oh, dear. That's pretty good. Yeah, Koth is at 4, I think. I'm just playing this guy, I guess. What's up, Danny? Good to see you, buddy. Could we even activate Wandering Fumeral? Do we even have a second blue? I don't know. Magic's hard, man. Oh, boy. Sure. Let's bottom both of these lands. Blue card. Signet. That's exciting. This does not look like it's going well. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic there, buddy. Again, one one mountain and a cough. Just just the most embarrassing thing to lose to ever. Oh, that's interesting. One, two, three, four, blink something. Yeah, Ren and Six doesn't do anything here except for either deal a point or tick up to three. So. But the thing is, if they tick up to three now, the next turn. Oh, they're just gonna attack with the raging green too. This is like perfect. Like I'm just losing the absolute perf perfect draws. Like it's it's. I mean, they have flame slash for Tyler Striker. They have burst lightning for Peter and Karen Alar. So they've taken care of the two cards I've drawn. Uh, they didn't have Rabble Master, which forces me to use Magma Jet. And then they have two Planeswalkers, one of which they only had one Mountain for, but they're just crushing me with that. So like, they have Ren and Six, which does nothing because they haven't had a land, but they're still able to pick off my one-one flyers. So it's just, it's all so comical. And now, like, we have to chump block Raging Ravine, and if we gain four, it just doesn't do anything. Plus, they could just kill this. Like, it doesn't... Did they not tick up Ren and Six last turn? Or did they... That's amazing. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, 
Oh boy. Might as well play the last round, see if we can one two this thing. I didn't actually think this deck was that terrible. I guess we'll keep this because we can play everything based on color. We just have to make sure to hit more lands in our deck that has a Celestia Signet, a Bird of Paradise, a Rattleclaw Mystic, and 17 lands. And a Chromatic Lantern. As long as we can hit lands and mana, then we're good to go. Oh my goodness. Is that a fourth land? See you in the garbage cans and a ghost. Never resolved a four drop against two open mana. Do do do. Yeah, no shit. Of course you have a negate, you never don't. So proud of you. I guess I should play QP and Colonel War. See if you got another one. Counter spells are just so strong in this cube, it's unbelievable. Like, this is why you keep seeing me draft blue white and doing well, whereas, like, I keep fucking losing with every other deck that's not blue. Ah, oh, good times. Everybody's having a good time. You guys having a good time? Hope you guys on YouTube are enjoying this one. This is a gem. This is a, a special gem. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are five, six. We are three mana away from fight with fire with kicker. It's quite a bit. I'm just taking five here. Oh, Gideon Jura. That's cool. One, two, three, four. Yesterday don't matter if it's gone. I mean, I just don't feel like I should draft anything other than blue decks with counter spells in this cube because it's like, like these planeswalkers don't even resolve on turn three if I can ramp them out. Like, why even bother? Aggressive. It's your boy. So this gets countered, right? Because they targeted one. So they had two cards in hand. Yeah, that was terrible. Goodbye, wandering fumarole. 
Attack Gideon, attack Gideon, attack your face. I should have played this in case they have a trick. I don't think they do. Seems good. Yeah, Zealous Conscripts is a beating, that's for sure. Yep, that's pretty un that's pretty unbeatable. We're gonna draw a roast as a joke. We did not draw a roast as a joke. Alright, well. Go to game two, I guess. Literally don't have a way in our deck to beat a 5-5 five, five first strike flyer. Like, sure. If we had another artifact we might, we could go Signet, uh, Floaty Boy, and one other thing to get rid of it, but... Yep, now we just get to lose the Lyra. It's like we're just struggling against decks that, like deal with all of our threats before we even cast them and then play one thing that we can't deal with <laughs> it's, it's not terrible surprisingly not terrible three four and then one two three oh we should have attacked first oh that was so bad i mean i'm just i was just grateful to, to be surviving and they're at 23 so like i don't know One, two, three. We're just playing this because if they have a, a way to like tap our team, I don't want to die. So I'm gonna gain four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like we can actually just pass the turn and just kill the Lyra. Just take six, take five. That's good in the future. Uh, red. I guess we'll attack first, right? And we're trying to avoid Vendelian click here. Nimble Obstructionist counter the last ability. Oh, thank goodness it died. Oh, I didn't see you suspend that. Jeez. <laughs> and land. Does that do anything? Does literally nothing. I mean, blocking any of these would be great. And they block fucking none of them. Oh, God.
sorcery hex proof Kid Sigma X like single how much mana do we have? One, two, three. Play Signet. I mean we have to get this and this into play. How will we ever do that? <laughs> do we Okay, so we it's two sacks, so it's six man six mana automatically. We're playing this and this, that's eleven mana, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana for what you're suggesting. These would net us one each. So only only twelve mana. No, we're four shy. Wow. This has not been going well. I kind of like bribery here. I will keep this hand. That does not allow me to play bird on turn one. Sounds good. I'm just gonna play Ren and Six here because I can resolve it. Thorn Lieutenant gets an extra two damage in, but I think that's less important than actually resolving Ren and Six when they do have Negate in their deck, so. Ideally, we draw a green source. Okay, good to know. Three turns, this is gonna be a problem. It's gonna be like a raging ravine, and they're gonna be like, "Here's your green source," and be like, "That's not what we're trying." Fetch land would be great. Well, that's not good. So this is funny because we go to five, these guys go to two, we go to six. They go to one. We go to seven. They come down right before we ultimate. I mean, not like we have instants or sorceries in the graveyard, but it's kind of funny how the timing works. Test? I, no, just, I don't know what that means. Are you testing? What are you testing? Are you testing something? That's great. <laughs> Give me a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, deal. Well, I think we, I mean, we could start ticking down now. I have to keep you muted because I'm trying to lay low, but don't worry. I'll, all the prisoners can see you. Wait for them. What does that even mean? Oh my god. Let's 
interesting. Try this one, this guy. So what do they bounce here? They bounce the bird attack Garrick, I guess. It's probably fine. I mean, getting rid of a Glenelg or Archmage seems very, very good. He's testing the chat to see if there's lag in his internet connection. I, yes, I know. That's it's a it's a classic Moto technique. I just don't know if that ever works. That's fascinating. You're letting the Garrick live. Why would you do that? I see. Because of course you would. Oh, I'm I'm a big fan of Peeps. Peeps are really power poor, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, polarizing. People either love them or absolutely hate them. Seven cards in hand, huh? Yep, that is a thing. we just win here? One, two, three, four. We play the cat. We blink a land. boy unless they go spell pierce mana tithe force of oh man we win the game woof we won a game ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we won a game I'm as excited about it as you are it doesn't feel correct I feel something feels something feels strange I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I guess a Johnny is actually an answer to, um... To what's her name? To Lyra. If it's tapped. Roast seems pretty rough. Alright, well, let's see. This hand's really bad. I just have nothing to do. I'm gonna keep it, but it's whatever. I'm not excited about it for sure. Celestia Signet, Bird of Paradise would all be nice. All two of those cards. Radical Mystic, Windswept Heath. I guess we'll get a Sacred Foundry. Phil, what's going on, my dude? Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's play another green. We'll try to play around. Doesn't matter. They're going to counter it. Oh my god, it resolved. We drew a card with a Renin 6. That's all I wanted to do. We only have one planes left for this windswept heath, though, so. Not in. We're not in the money now. In the money. We're not in the money yet. Cast out. Cast out. Everything is all right. Up tight. Cast out now. We actually have no reason to play one of these lands, right? Yeah, we're just going to Hunt Master here. Hunt Master of Puppets is pulling your strings. Everything is all right. All right. Oh, God. Well, we actually have a way to kill that. Surprisingly. So we can go Xenogosinic 1, 2. Oh, wow. Fight Fire does it by itself, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty good. And we're just going to play Overgrown Tomb. Yes. One, two, three, four. Xenagus. Xenagus. Red. Green. Ooh oh boy, what's even happening? Are we gonna go are we gonna go one two guys? Let's not get it let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get our hopes up yet. Let's not get our hopes up. We do have eternal witness to get back fight with fire, which is not a bad thing. Time warp into doing nothing is fine. It's very, very fine. All right. I mean, Ojita could be bad if they play Ojita. I'm real sad. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Seagate Oracle? Devery. Oh, it's your boy. It's your boy. I'm actually going to crack this now because I don't want to get stuck with, like, nothing to, nothing to search for here. One, two, three, five, six. I feel okay casting this guy now that the other thing is in their graveyard. Let's get a Wandering Fumeral and probably, probably a way to activate it, so we'll say Drown Catacomb, right? I mean, we could have played, we could have activated Raging Ravine and killed the Teferi, but they have no cards in hand, so, I mean, they're going to bounce this guy and get a card, but this is a pretty good board advantage. Oh my god, Katie, what's going on? Katie, are you still, you're obviously still at work. That's very sad. What is up? Oh my god, Katie and Chris at the same time? What a time. Oh, nerd. Wow. You took a little bit longer with the nerd there. And I got real excited and I was like, oh, Chris is saying what is up? Oh, and then he's calling me a nerd. What a straight bitch. <laughs> That's... Ah, Why? Why are you like this? That's fine. I mean, they're gonna take E Witness, right? They're gonna take. What are they taking? Oh, they're gonna take. Light. They're gonna take Knight, right? Sure. Always just. Are you just leaving now? Oh, this is great though. That's great news. 
I'm eating katsu burger, so I'm typing with one hand. <laughs> Chris, I appreciate you so much. Wait, they didn't take Night of Autumn? What did they take? Oh, they took the Primeval Titan? Who even cares about that? Who's even got the time? Yeah, I mean, they're going to be able to flip their search, but I don't, I'm not too impressed with that. Do we play land? I don't even think we play land because we got so distracted. Vomit. We have two planeswalkers. I don't think this is actually that terrible. It's basically a one for one because, like, this traded with something else. So you're basically trading Thorn Lieutenant for Snapcaster Mage. What's with the test in chat? Dudes are just. People just. Sometimes people just be testing. Just Chuck Testa. What are we going to get back? I guess we're getting back fun, fight with fire to just kill them, right? Oh, I'm out of green. That's real sad. I thought I had it. And I played all these. Oh, we can activate Fumeral then. That's still, still damage, right? Switch him. Oh my god, I think we're gonna do it, guys. Fight with fire just kills them, right? God damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine, my dude. <sighs> well, they could have a counter spell. What they keep down Raging Ravine? You can't keep a good Raging Ravine down, my dude. Let's get that other island. Oh, we're still on our upkeep. We get to draw a card, too? Okay, Magma Jet. Felidar Guardian. I mean, I'm not going to mess around here, right? I'm just going to fight with Fire Their Face. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, two. All right, what are you going to do? All right. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you on the internet. I'm not leaving if you're watching on Twitch. I'm just ending the YouTube video where you can slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. It's a great way to, to support the channel with a dollar or two dollars a month. Dollar or two dollars a month, guys. It's basically nothing. Patreon.com slash franklapore. And uh, also be sure to check out coolstuffinc.com. I have new articles every Wednesday. And I also have... Um, Sponsorship at manatraders.com where you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And they have an awesome subscription service. That's where I get most of my Magic Online cards through them. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Hope you do hope you're doing good. I'll see you later. <laughs>